uh, well, you know, we got that call that day that uh, that Myra was missing, and you know, it was it was one of those typical calls. You hope maybe she's around the house there, or just lost within the house, and you know, in a room playing hide and seek, something typically that kids would do over at the grandparents next door, what have you. But uh, you know, pretty quickly you realize once officers get on the scene and and uh, can't locate her readily there uh, that. Uh, that the panic begins to set in and uh, you start uh, running through different scenarios in your head. Uh, well, you know, did she wander off down the road or or into a waterway or some type or, or out in the woods? And, you know, we took all that into consideration and, and began a search uh, of the entire area around the house and, and uh, called in all of, the, all of our law enforcement partners and uh, uh, citizens in that area. The community really came together. It was, it was something to see the way the community came together, but it was uh, it was pretty readily apparent fairly quickly that uh, that, that we were in trouble as far as uh, looking for Myra. This is the the, the prototypical who done it. You know, it's uh, here we are eight years later, like Therese said, and and uh, we're we're no closer today than we were that day. Uh, you know, different scenarios that you that you believe and, and follow. Uh, from beginning to end just come up empty uh, hundreds and hundreds of tips across the country and even from overseas of uh, possible sightings and uh, even from locally here from from persons that think maybe they have seen her uh, or likenesses of her uh, you follow those just hoping for that one little piece that you missed initially uh, in your investigation or a long lost relative that may come forward and and have her, but uh, I can sit here today and tell you we are absolutely no closer than we were day one when we arrived on the scene, and it uh, is pretty heart wrenching. I'll be honest with you. This case is extremely close to me, as you guys know from from day one. Uh, like I said, we we just don't know where to turn from here. We have exhausted. Uh, uh, every resource from every partner that we have available to us, whether it be the FBI or MBI or, or, or Game and Fish or any local partners that we've had, we've done foot searches and, and searched lakes and, and we've, we've dug in the ground and we have searched trucks and tractor trailers and reviewed footage from stores around town where she was last seen, uh, you know, before she disappeared. And, um, you know, it, it's not that you you would ever close a case because I can promise you as long as I'm here this case will never be closed uh, our investigators still feel calls you know we had one a couple of weeks ago from uh, I think Vancouver um, but it's just gonna take uh, a miracle at this point sheriff I know initially in the investigation there were questions of course swirling around everybody that was around her during that time mm -hmm. has the family continued to stay in touch with you guys you know, unfortunately, uh, you know, just in short, no. Uh, they, the, the family, you know, I, I don't, I, you know, I'm not in their heads, and I, I can't imagine a tragedy of this proportion uh, as a parent or as a family member, but uh, they have moved away from the area, uh, and our best efforts to locate them have gone uh, unfruitful. Uh, you know, and, and I, I think the media, the different outlets have tried to reach out to family members and have been unsuccessful in getting return uh, uh, messages or calls. But, uh, you know, uh, that's not going to stop us from, from looking for Myra. So uh, hopefully one day that'll, that'll uh, pan out for us and, and it'll have a, a really happy ending uh, for her and a lot of other people. Children are innocent. You know, adults generally have an idea or make decisions that lead them typically where they are. Uh, but a child, uh, especially one that age, doesn't make a decision. Uh, they're of that age, they have decisions made for them. So they never really have a chance to, to flourish and, and grow and, and prosper in life. And, uh, you know, I think about my granddaughter, you know, and, and I'm just not sure uh, how I would handle that. Uh, if it were to happen to her. So uh, uh, it's it's personal. I, like I said, I, I don't want it solved for me or, or for anybody else. I, I want it solved for Myra. Uh, that's the only person 
not, not to discount anybody else's feelings, but the person that matters the most at the end of the day is Myra. Can you talk about how often do you think about her? How much is she with you? She, she, she is my case. You know, she, she is at the top of my list. Uh, before you came in, we were having a discussion and I, like I said, I, I've been through hundreds of cases where you see lives destroyed and uh, I've, I've seen an awful lot, Therese, and, and she is my case. She, that is the one case that, that truly haunts my heart. Uh, I hope I don't end my career with it unsolved. I'm afraid that I will. Uh, but I truly hope that, that I don't, and I hope uh, somebody out there will help me not carry that away from here. And there's somebody out there that knows. Somebody there is, knows. There is no doubt in my mind. Somebody knows exactly what happened to her. No doubt in my mind. And I know you kind of told Chris a little bit about what you would say to somebody if they have her, but to that person who knows what happened, how do you reach them? Please come forward for all involved. Uh, it's, it's, we're talking about a child. We're not talking about uh, an adult that's lived a full life or somebody that made decisions and, and went their own way. We're talking about an innocent life. We're talking about God's child uh, that never had an opportunity to, to take advantage of the life she was given. You know, the further you get away from the incident date itself, you know, the more you're concerned about uh, finding her alive. You know, you, uh, you, eventually she would reach an age that she would be able to come forward herself, you would think. Uh, but then you begin to wonder uh, the opposite direction. is Maybe she didn't make it. Uh, maybe she is somewhere uh, just waiting to be found. And, and she deserves, uh, she deserves to be located either way.